and a lot of people used it, even though it wasn't responding. It was on that list of torrent of trackers at one point that you could use. So once we opened it back up again, our index started really, and we un unknown to us, our index started growing, and we had lots and lots of torrents that we were tracking. Um, Not just it, from it, Media Defender, but from a lot of other people, I would imagine. Lots of other people, too. Yeah, and this is like a search engine. So basically we were you know, tracking. You didn't tra have bad, you didn't have bad stuff on there, but, but just like Pirate Bay, you, we would have had links to torrents. Right, we, we were linking to things and showing where you could find it and what PCs were hosting it and things like so that. Presumably this is something, you, if you had known about, you wouldn't have wanted to have it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was not. It's it's certainly not something that we as a company would want to do. Right. Uh, and, and it turns out a guy in our forums noticed it uh, and and put a forum message up and said, "Guys, did you know that your tracker's open now?" Oh boy. And my CTO was on vacation for two weeks in Italy. When was that uh, that he said that? Uh, I, it was uh, sometime like sort of like two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. I Recently. Go okay. Recently. Okay. Oh yeah. No, no. But it. it we opened it up the first week of April, and it was probably sometime in mid-May. Or, or, um, and so the minute that my CTO got back, like the next day, which was the Saturday of Memorial Day weekend, he, uh, we put the whitelist back in effect. Right after we put that whitelist in, we started getting the sin flood. And we thought it was a bunch.